Solve the following logarithm equations. Round your answers to three decimal places. Log base 3 of x plus log base 3 of 6x is equal to 4. Using one of our properties of logarithms, since I have a sum of logarithms with the same base, I can write this as a single logarithm with the product of the arguments. So then x times 6x is 6x squared. Log base 3 of 6x squared is 4. Converting this to the exponential form, I would have 6x squared is equal to 3 to the 4th. 3 to the 4th is 81, so 6x squared is 81. Dividing by 6, x squared would equal 13.5. Applying the square root property, x is equal to the positive or negative square root of 13.5, and using a calculator, the square root of 13.5 is about 3.674. So then x is approximately negative 3.674. and x is approximately positive 3.674. Now we have to be careful because whenever we use some of those properties of logarithms in solving a logarithmic equation we may introduce extraneous solutions and in fact this equation does have an extraneous solution. Notice that one of the values is a negative is negative 3.674 and if you try to evaluate the log base 3 of negative 3.674, well, that's the same as the log of negative 3.674 over the log of 3. And really, the problem is here. We cannot find the logarithm of a negative number and have a real value answer. And you can try it on your calculator. If you try to evaluate the log of negative 3.674, it causes an error for non-real answer. So that causes problems. And so what we must do is throw away the negative solution in this case and only accept the positive solution. So you have to check your solutions to, quant to uh, logarithmic equations. If after substitution you're taking the logarithm of a negative number, it's, it's not really a, a solution of the equation. It's extraneous to the equation. All right, so let's look at exercise B. Natural log of 5x minus 7 is equal to 6. Again, recall that the natural log is the same as the log base E of 5x minus 7 rewriting this in exponential form. 5x minus 7 is equal to e to the sixth. Continuing to solve for x, let me add 7 to both sides. So then 5x is equal to e to the sixth plus 7, and then I'll divide by 5. So then x is equal to e to the sixth plus 7 divided by 5, and it does ask for us to round, round the answers to three decimal places, so let me uh, use the calculator to find that approximation. So, since I'm, I have an operation in the numerator, I'm going to open a quantity. Let me just clear things out here. Let me open a quantity, bring up the exponential, e to the sixth, close off the six, add 7 close off the numerator, divide by 5. Hit enter, 82.086. Exercise C. Log base 5 of x plus 3 plus log base 5 of x plus 7 is equal to 1. 
All right, I see that I'm adding logarithms with the same base. So that means I can write this as a single logarithm, base 5, of x plus 3 by x plus 7, and it's still equal to 1. Simplifying inside the radical, log base 5, that would be x squared plus 10x plus 21. Let's rewrite this in the exponential form. x squared plus 10x plus 21 is equal to 5 to the first. So then x squared plus 10x plus 21 is equal to 5. I see that this is a quadratic equation. Let me subtract the 5. x squared plus 10x plus 16 is equal to 0. Now I notice that this equation will, I, I can solve it by factoring. If you didn't see that, you could of course use the quadratic formula. But this factors as x plus 2 by x plus 8. Setting the factors to 0, x plus 2 equals 0, x plus 8 equals 0. This implies that x is negative 2 and x is negative 8. Now, we have to be careful here. Let's check our work. If I substitute negative 2 for x, so let's do a check here. If I substitute negative 2 for x, then I would have the log base 5 of negative 2 plus 3 plus the log base 5 of negative 2 plus 7. And so now negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So that's the log base 5 of 1. I can evaluate that. And negative 2 plus 7 is 5. That's the log base 5 of 5. I can evaluate both of those. And in fact, the log base 5 of 1 is 0. Log base 5 of 5 of, is 1. And 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So that checks out. Let's check if x equals negative 8. Then I would have the log base 5 of negative 8 plus 3 plus the log base 5 of negative 8 plus 7. And so that would give me the log base 5 of negative 5 plus the log base 5 of negative 1. And here I'm in trouble. I cannot evaluate the logarithm of a negative number. So therefore negative 8 is not a solution and x equals negative 2 is the only solution of this equation.